What is going on guys, Xmas here. So today I'm going to be showing you an Angelic set build in Diablo 2. So what I'm going to be doing is this is going to be a video series and I'm going to be doing every single set in Diablo 2 and going over all the build ideas that I have for those sets and just some more information along the way. So I'm going to be doing all the sets in Diablo 2 in alphabetical order based on what it's shown here on the Ariat Summit website. So make sure you guys subscribe if you want to keep up with Diablo 2 content. Make sure you guys like this video and leave a comment in the comment section below. And you guys can enter to win a Diablo 2 battle chest at the end of the month that I'll be giving away. So just starting off with the build. So I'm going to be using the Angelic set build right here. And I'm going to be using a Holy Fire Paladin. I'm just going to go into details a little bit more about things that I think would be possible in Diablo 2 what could be and what it is right now and what i mean by that is that i think that a lot of these builds and these set items in diablo 2 would go to better use and, and a lot of people would use them more often if there wasn't anything such as rushing a character in diablo 2 or power level in your character now this is something that that's kind of more world of warcraft type thing but it's called twinks it, it's a lower level character and you deck out the character with just all the best gear just some some really good and hard to find items on a low level character just so you can level your character up and that's really common in world of warcraft at least when i played you would you know really deck out your low level character so then you could level it up and then get your character up there in end game but in diablo 2 it's a little bit different people don't really use these low level sets anymore in diablo 2 just because they can rush their character through the game and i really think that if like I said, if there was no rushing or power leveling, power leveling or anything like that, that these items would actually go to good use. And it's just kind of sad to see that a lot of these items kind of just collect dust in the Diablo 2 community. And no one's really making low level characters with, you know, decked out gear just because they can rush themselves through the game. And as far as low level dueling goes, I mean, most of the items that people use in low level dueling are items that are really hard to come by, such as enhanced damage jewels and, and just a lot of weird and random them things like that it's not like the sets in Diablo 2 really go to good use anymore so what I'm gonna be doing with this is I'm just gonna go over the gear real quick with you guys explain a little bit about the about the items in Diablo 2 and just kind of ex also explain how some of these items in the sets can actually help out a character in end game Diablo 2 such as the angelic amulet and the ring because it gives a bunch of attack rating what I'm using right here is I'm using the full angelic set build looks like you get 30 increased attack speed 75 enhanced damage on the sword a little bit of fire resist and defense on the armor and then you got the the amulet in the rings which is really nice and you get get a nice bonus to magic find on the set 90% to magic find a little bit of mana regeneration, mana there, dexterity, resistances. Um, it's all around a pretty decent set, 75 to life on the amulet, 1 to all skills. I mean, like I said before, a lot of these items really don't go to any good use anymore in Diablo 2. And I kind of just want to go over all the sets and see the possibilities and see the things that you might do with these low-level sets. I mean, this is a level 12 set. I mean, by the time you're level 20 even, I mean, you're not going to come across all the items in the set unless you start trading very early on or you just trade for it on a high level character and then transfer the items over so that's what i'm using right there as far as the set goes i'm using biggins bonnet cap and i'm using a sword back hold this is actually a really nice shield right here and i've actually seen people use this in end game diablo 2 i'm not too sure why they they use it but it does have 50 percent chance to open wounds and that's actually a stat that's very rare and I've never seen it on the shield this may be the only shield in the game that I can think of that has chance to open moon so it's a really unique shield in Diablo 2 and it's really nice at this level to have some open wounds going on there especially when you're trying to take out a boss or something like that and I'm using the treads of Sithan I don't I don't know who Sithan is but um adds a little bit of uh increased run walk speed there I mean that's really nice at low level because if you're not a sorceress you're not teleporting at that that level yet so that's actually really nice and I, I really enjoy running fast in Diablo 2 I know you guys have seen a lot of my videos um, sometimes even sacrifice damage and things like that just because um, it's just a major pet peeve of mine to just to run fast in Diablo 2 so and then as far as my belt and gloves go and using the death's hand this is a really nice combination right here at low level you guys seen that I've used this on some of my um, on my level 18 smiter versus Diablo clone 30 increased attack speed, 8 life stolen per hit, 
15 all resistances and cannot be frozen on the level 6 belt. Um, that cannot be frozen is just absolutely overpowered like I said before at low level and then on switch I'm using nothing. This is a holy fire build so holy fire is actually really powerful early on in Diablo 2. I'm doing 53 to 81 damage. I put 11 points in the holy fire and then I should have put 2 points in the zeal. I don't know why I have 1 point in the smite but I actually put 3 points, 2 or 3 points in the zeal. And then as far as my attributes go, you know, enough strength to use the, ge use the gear, enough dex to use the gear and rest vitality so we're gonna go back and go to normal so at level 15 i mean doing act 5 normal at level 15 is actually going to be pretty difficult but with this build I, I don't think it's going to be that hard i think we're on players one right now so I mean, level 15 is definitely, uh, that, that's definitely quite a, a very low level for you to be in Act 5. Usually once you get to Act 2, I mean, you do tombs until, like, what was it, like level 25 or something like that. I think it's 20. I always forget, but something like that. I mean, by the time you're in Act 5, I mean, you should be around at least level 25, in my opinion. Level 15 is just a little bit too low for Act 5, but as you can see, I mean, it does a decent amount of damage. I mean, it's a good set to kind of get your low-level character going. I mean, and there is people out there. I mean, everyone thinks that everyone's doing the same things. I mean, I get a lot of messages from people in Diablo 2 on my Facebook fan page, on Twitter, and things like that. And there's a lot of people that just kind of play single player and they do everything on their own. So if they make an alternative character, or they're using Pluggy or something like that, there are people out there that will actually do something like this where they'll kind of deck out their low level character just because you know it feels a little bit more rewarding to do everything on your own instead of having to get power leveled and rushed and on battle all the time i mean i do it i mean we all do it but at the same time you know it's really rewarding to just kind of do things on your own sometimes and i really think that if blizzard fixed i mean i know diablo 2 is a very old game and they're working on other games and things like that but it would be really nice if they kind of got rid of rushing characters and power leveling characters in Diablo 2. Because then these set builds would actually go to good use and they would actually have some kind of value in the game. Rather than people just tossing them away because everyone can just get rushed in Diablo 2. So that's just my take on it. And, you know, this is actually a pretty cool looking set. I mean, if you look at it right here, I mean, it's kind of got that that dark black feel to it. I mean, even with the shield, you know, it kind of gives off a little dark, dark vibe going on there. Like the armor and the sword is... Kind of a dark color so you could see that it that you know the set kind of kind of goes together a little bit there i mean these are just going to be really short and quick videos guys i mean there's really not not too much to talk about with these low level sets i mean it's not an end game build where i'm having to go over you know every little skill i mean at this level you don't have a lot of skills you don't have a lot of a lot of things that you can do as far as your skill tree goes just because you need to be a certain level to use those skills but i mean there's really not too much to go over except to to just put these sets on and kind of see the possibilities and see what you could do with them if people actually put them to good use i mean i don't think it's going to happen anytime soon i don't i don't see bots or or rushing characters or power leveling going away anytime soon but you know this is just me kind of explaining what could be in diablo 2 and what i think what i think it would be like that if you know Diablo 2 was updated more often like their other games like World of Warcraft I mean if this was World of Warcraft they, I don't think there was any way that they would allow rushing and power leveling and all that stuff so Shanks freaking he's whipping me okay, he totally reminds me of like a showgirl with that whip showgirl shank so as you can see right there i mean pretty good build i mean gets the job done you're only level 15 so that's about it for this video guys so make sure you guys subscribe if you want to keep up with diablo 2 content and make sure you guys like and comment below if you guys want to enter to win a diablo 2 battle chest that i'll be giving away at the end of the month and that's about it for this video guys i love you so much and i will see you on my next video